Hey there everybody. Um, in this video, it's more of a tutorial for us Mining Mayhem users. Um, basically what I'm going to show you is how to set up two types of shops. An infinite shop, like my mall here. Although it says TNT sold out, but that's because I don't want TNT on the server anymore. Um, and then player shops. Um, to use these shops, it's pretty straightforward. The infinite shops. Say I need a bucket. Click on the chest. Put in a gold. Actually, hold on. Let's show you. Right click on the sign to find out the rate. One bucket for one gold. Okay. I need two buckets. So put in two gold. Right click on the sign. And then when you get buckets or food, it's best to unstack them when you get them. That's pretty cool. Then to use the chest to sell s items, you will just put the items you want to sell into the corresponding chest. Right click the sign again, it'll tell you you sold for two gold. And there you go. Um, but this is a big mall, everything's kind of sorted out. Um, you guys will see that later. Um, but now, I want to show you how to make a player shop. Um, yeah. I should go over here somewhere. Anyways, yeah, that's my Zoidberg skin. Zoidberg skin. That is Odds Tree Farm. Odds pretty cool guy. Let's see, let's give... Cloth 2... Which do I chest? I sign. Okay. This one is a little more complicated. Sorry about that little leg spike there. You need to have two items on the back, a chest, and then behind it you're going to put a sign. On the sign, you're going to put the item you want to sell. And then you're going to put buy four. Let's say I want to sell 32 glass for one gold. But then I will sell it to other players, or other players will sell it to me for, let's do the same price. And then down here you have to put your name. Capitalization will matter. You have to put it in the hyphens and um, it will not let you put another user's name on your sign. So there you go. Made my little store. But now in order for users to sell to you, there has to be gold in your store. So what you have to do is you have to right click. We're going to put the gold. We'll put all 64, 66 gold in and right click it. And down there it says disp deposited 66 gold. Then you look and it's gone. So your gold is stored in the complicated mass plugin thing that I don't know how anything works. So then you right click it again. Here, it's empty. Right click on your sign, you'll withdraw 66 gold. And so put that back, deposit it, and now since we're selling glass, we have to put glass into the store. So I deposited 66 glass. Um, and in order to buy things, I need to be another user, so I'm going to do that, and I will be right back. Alright, so now that I'm locked in as a different user, I can come right over here to the store that Josh Day 5 Hawk previously made. I can right click on the sign, just like the other ones, it'll give me the details. Um, I should give myself some glass. And some gold. For the demonstration here. Um, so, let's say I want to sell all my glass. I'll put my glass in, and right click the sign. and I just sold the glass for two gold. Now, if I want to buy gold, I do the same thing. Put in the two gold and buy it. Bought 64 glass for two gold. Now, the cool thing is, there's my glass. Um, say I put in a bunch of gold, and then right-click the sign. Oh, I can't buy. There's only 64 glass left in the store. So, I can only buy 64 glass. Um, Alright guys, I hope this helped you all out a little bit. If not, go ahead and um, send me a message here on the um, on the website, or you can email me at pantherhockey32, the numbers three two, 
at hotmail.com. Thanks a lot, guys.